Hey makers, this is Truveen and in this episode we are going to officially kickstart with the power pages. Earlier you have seen lots of video on my channel related canvas app, model driven app, power bi, power automate, power of virtual agents and much more. But you haven't seen any video related power pages. So from today onwards I will regularly upload some content around the power pages so you can have more hands on on this technology. Now in this episode we will be talking about how you can get started with power pages app development. For that you need to set up the development environment. Also you need to set up a trial power pages site. I am going to talk about these two things in detail throughout this session. Also in the upcoming videos we will be talking about how you can get started with the page development, how you can build the form, how you can provide anonymous access, how you can manage permission, how you can write your own custom JavaScript CSS code, how you can make your site beautiful. This all the concept I will key cover in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned with me. Also if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe, press the bell notification and like my video. Also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter account because these are the platform where I am uploading short content related power platform. So without further delay, let's get started and create our power pages developer environment. For overall power pages, I personally recommend to create a dedicated environment for that. For that, you can simply click on admin center and that will open power platform admin center for you. It's not necessary to create a new environment. You can create your power pages site inside the default environment as well. But this is the recommendation and best practices that always start with the fresh environment whenever you are starting the power pages development. Now over here, you simply need to close, go to the environment section and click on new to create a new environment. Provide the name for your environment. Select the region in which you want to set up your environment. Select the type over here. I am selecting developer. You can define your purpose and simply click on next. Select the language and currency and simply click on save. So this will create our new environment shortly. After some moments, my environment is created successfully. And you can see that this is the fresh brand new environment for myself. Now over here, you can see that this is totally blank environment. Now we need to create our first power pages website. Now let me tell you how you can create that. There are two different ways to create the power pages site. Either you can simply click on this new app and simply click on this website. And from here you can create the blank power pages site. This is the first traditional way of doing the power pages site. Also, there is another recommended way by Microsoft to create the power pages site. Both the options are same. There is no such difference in between them. So don't get yourself confused. Another simple way to create the power pages site is you simply need to enter a URL powerpages.microsoft.com and over here there is an option try it for free. You simply need to enter your office 365 account and start your free trial. This will provide you 30 days free trial for your power pages site. So after you sign up, it will show you this kind of interface and it automatically create one environment for you over here. But you don't want to create your power pages site inside this newly created environment. You simply want to use the power pages environment, which we created, which means YT power pages. So let's select that. Now we need to create our first power pages website and to create that we simply need to click on create site option from here. As soon as you click on that it will show you this kind of beautiful interface where you can use some ready to use layout from here. You can try the different layout like starter layout and so many other things if you want to create a website related permit application, school program registration and all you can simply use this out of the box layout. They are very beautiful. In my case, I don't want to use any such template. I want to build my website from the scratch and I want to define everything by my own like header, footer, left navigation, uh, body section, everything. So over here, we will select blank page from here. So let's select this template. 
Here I am providing the name of my website as Power Platform Trainings Event and now I need to provide the web address. So I am providing the web address as powerplatformtrainings. Here I want to provide the website address as power platform trainings event dot power portals dot com. So by default it is adding this host name after your web address. Okay, you can configure this web address based on your need. You can define your own custom domain as well. Now let's select the site language as English and simply click on done. So this will start setting up. So this will setting up my new website under the environment which I have created. So let's wait for few minutes. So behind the scene, this is provisioning my power pages website. This is somewhat which is taking some time around 30 minutes. So wait for that. And in my next episode, I will be opening this website. We will be talking about how you can do actual development in the power pages site and we will be start with the basic form creation in the power pages site so stay tuned to the next video hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my instagram twitter account and for any consultation or any training just connect me on my website with this this is thruveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing update till then have a great day goodbye